Well, as you can see, I ended up grabbing two fragrances. I've been wanting to try CK2 into you for, or CK into you for a long time now. Um, it's nice to finally get it in my possession. I know, I want to say Joy, Joy Amin, shout out to you if you happen to see this. I think he's a fan of it, actually. And it's one I've seen a bunch of times that I've just kind of put off grabbing. It was a bust at the first couple of places. 20 bucks, I figured why not? We'll roll the dice on that. And then a lot of you, a lot of you over the years have asked for my opinion on Mankind Hero for 20 bucks. I figured why not? I have the original Mankind. Not the biggest fan of it. Not a bad fragrance, but, you know, for 20 bucks, I figured why not? We'll give it a try. Maybe it's a nice little gem, little cheap gem. I'm hoping that's the case with both of these. So let's bust them open and give them a smell. And we will start first with Mankind Hero. This is the one I'm most intrigued by. Because like I said, this has been pretty pretty heavily requested for some time now. So there must be some merit to it if you guys think I would enjoy it. So it's a 50 ml. I have that nice black mirrored finish. This is definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet of a bottle. But I don't have anything on my hand right here. Let's give it a spray. We'll look up at the the notes after the fact and see how accurate it is versus what I smell. I tell you one thing that I'm pretty confident in here is some black pepper because it smells like a nice blast of black pepper just in this initial pop. Yeah, I'm very confident there's definitely some black pepper, but it's still very fresh. Very, very fresh, like very airy, ozonic type of smell, but with black pepper. Interesting combo. I can tell you right now, just off of these few quick sniffs, this is definitely better than the original. So, automatically, I always deem that kind of a middle-of-the-road 5 out of 10 fragrance where it's just, it's okay, it's good, you know, but not something I reach for all the time. Whereas this, I could see myself enjoying this one a little bit more. This almost has a little touch of Guest 1981 Los Angeles going for it. Like, it's got a similar style to the black pepper to that only this is like i said much fresher and doesn't have that same level of sweetness or that same level of amber but it does kind of remind me of it a little bit as i'm smelling it there's something a little fruity in here but it's not really fruity it's more fruity fresh than anything not really fruity sweet there's not a lot of sweetness here and that pepper does make it a little dry, but it's actually very pleasant. I like this one. I like this one. This is a nice little pickup. I feel like you can wear this anytime. Doesn't come across really serious. Doesn't come across too casual. More casual than serious, but yeah, it's nice. Let's, let's pull the notes up and see what it's all about. So according to Parfumo, top notes Italian lemon and coriander seed. So it could be coriander giving me that kind of peppery smell, because there's no pepper here, according to this. The heart notes plum wood. There's that little bit of fruitiness. Lavender, clary, sage, vanilla. So I believe all of these aromatics for sure. Base notes of coumarin, amber wood, white moss, and musk. Hmm, it's kind of very fresh and airy. Um, I, I can't imagine that's just lavender and clary sage making that happen, providing the aromatic quality, but... It's almost got kind of an aldehydes kind of thing going for it, where it's very bright, not necessarily sparkly like aldehydes can be sometimes, but it's a nice balance of fresh and spicy, you know? Coriander's got to be what I'm smelling. I mean, that can make sense. It's a cooking spice similar to pepper, but not exactly the same. It has a little bit of a peppery type of quality. This is nice. It's not complex. It's I don't see it change. I don't see it having opportunity to really change drastically outside of drying into some woods. But hopefully the amber wood that's in here actually provides some decent performance. I don't need this thing to be a beast. I mean, it could be a two-hour fragrance, and it won't make me enjoy it any less. But if this one could be in the four to six-hour range, I'll be happy with it with this scent profile. For sure, I might even have to do a full review on this one. I, I like this one quite a bit. I'm glad I picked this up. Mankind Hero. Now, the one that 
is very intriguing to me. Uh, I actually, I'm going to say this one may have been discontinued. I'm not 100% sure when I say that. Interesting bottle. Contoured. Very, very strange bottle, you know. It's 100 ml. Very cheap and cheesy atomizer. Let me. Very chintzy, cheap plastic atomizer. Let's give my hand a spray. Good atomizer, though. Oh, yeah. Definitely a good atomizer. That's got a little bit of a familiarity to it. Let that dry a little bit more. It's got a, a minty freshness, but there's something very dark about this at the same time. Almost like a chocolatey, leathery type of smell, but it's still very fresh. But I get a little bit of a chocolatey, leather type of smell. This is a strange fragrance. Now that I think about it, I think Cacao Pod, Cacao is in here, so that makes sense, that chocolatey leather. I think that's one of the notes, actually, because I've looked at the note breakdown before. It's just I couldn't tell you the last time I looked. It's almost got a little bit of a fruity apple type of smell here, but maybe it kind of definitely smells like an apple note of some sort. Not red apple, more green apple. That cacao is definitely standing out. If that's if if I remember correctly, that's in there. It's got a little bit of a chocolatey, leathery type of feel here. A little minty, fresh type of feel. It's it's an odd one. This is definitely a kind of an awkward fragrance, to be honest with you, but not in a bad way. I like I like how different it is. It's got an interesting character to it. There's characteristics of this fragrance that usually don't mesh together that well and I'm not saying it's phenomenal or anything but it's definitely oddly attractive not a bad fragrance minty fresh mint geranium something like that I'm, th I'm thinking is in here pretty confident there's cacao and I'm going to say apple let's check out the notes all right, so I was off on the apple. Top notes of Minola Tangelo, some kind of fruit, I'm sure. Pomelo leaf, gin fizz. Never seen that in a fragrance before. Heart notes of cocoa, pimento, and shiso leaf. Base notes of musk, vetiver, and white cedar. This is an odd combination of notes for sure. Now that I see pimento, I smell pimento. That's kind of weird. Like it jumps out at me. Pimento spice. Definitely there. This cocoa notes really calmed down a lot though. It was in the opening and it settled. This is a strange one, but I like it. I like it. It's weird. It's a weird fragrance, but I dig that about it. There's a fresh herbal quality about it. There's a fruitiness. There's that leathery, chocolatey feel. There's that spice that's starting to come through more. It's a little musky. Not much. And it's not a dirty musk. It's got a clean feel to it. This is an odd one. It's an interesting blind buy. I could see some people really despising this fragrance. I could see some people not liking this one. I like it, though. Different. I keep wanting to go back to it, honestly. I kind of like it more than Mankind Hero. Hmm. Let's give them some ratings. So Mankind Hero, now that it's had a little bit of time to dry down, isn't drastically different from how it was in the top note. Still very aromatic, a little bit of this peppery feel, though it's calmed down a lot. It's a little woody. It's gotten more woody, actually, but not drastically different. This is nice. This is a nice little gem, though it's not something super special or unique in any way. 
Um, there's no real depth here that I'm finding anyways on my skin, but it is nice. It is pleasant. I think it's a good fragrance. I don't think it's better than good. I don't think it's great. I think it's a 5.5 out of 10. It's solid. It's okay. I will wear it on occasion. I'm going to wear it coming up here within the next few weeks. I'm going to spend some time with it. It may even compel me to do a full review at some point. You never know. But it's easygoing, pleasant, dry spice, fresh aromatic, a little ozonic type of feel to it. It's, it's good, just not better than good. Now, CK2, CKNTU, I keep wanting to say 2NU, uh, 2NTU, it's, I don't know. But this one's oddly attractive, and it has unique characteristics with the way this is, with the notes, and the way it's blended. I actually really like this one. I think this one's better than good. This one is a 6.5 out of 10 for me. I like this. In fact, I'll be taking a shower here in a little while, and I think I'm going to wear this as my scent of this evening at the recording of this. This is nice. I didn't think I was going to like this more than Mankind Hero, and I actually do. It's just so different. The pimento's really standing out to me now. It's kind of taking over and taking the lead of the blend and the aroma where it sits in the heart and early dry down right now. I think you could do a lot worse. Like I said, I could see this one being polarizing for sure. I could see people liking Mankind Hero more than this, but for me, I like this a little bit more. Well, that's my first impressions on these two that I picked up from Ross Dress for Less, CK Into You, and Mankind Hero from Kenneth Cole. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried either one of these? What do you think of them? Are they less than a 5, 5.5 out of 10 for you? Less than a 6.5 out of 10 for you? Or are they better than that? I'd love to know you guys' thoughts for those of you that have tried these. Uh, 20 bucks a piece? That's the right price point for these for sure. This isn't something I would want to pay 30, 40 bucks a pop for. Um, I feel like they were priced right. 20 bucks is where they should be. I think this is a bit of a gem. For 20 bucks, it's a nice little hidden gem type of thing. And this is, you know, it's it's a good fragrance. It's okay. Um, you can do a lot of things with this. It's very youthful. I think this would be great for teenagers, early 20s, for sure. It's something they can just daily drive and wear for anything. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on either one of these and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.